Hi, my name is Christine Moriello. I'm an overcomer of PTSD and PNES. Some people I've spoken to ask why is it important to have coaching, counseling, therapy, either individual or group, and here's why. If you know that you have a problem that you're struggling with and you don't have people around you, support around you, how exactly are you going to bypass the stage you're at? If you already had the tools and skills you need, you wouldn't have the results that you're having, whether it's seizures or other PTSD symptoms. So it is important, extremely important, crucial to have outside help. And not just any outside help. It is important to surround yourself with people who will sharpen you, will give you st skills and tools, and hold you accountable. Why is it important to have community support? Who's gonna call you on those bad days if you have no one around you? Who's going to say, hey, I read something that I think based off of what you're going through, you need to read? Or who's there to talk to you or just to be an active listener? It is important though. It is extremely important that you know that you cannot do this without community support, community help, professionally or non-professionally. But you have to, again, Align yourself with overcomers, people who have survived cancer and have a joyful attitude still, people who have not been beaten to a pulp by life. If those are the people in your circle, you will reflect those people. So get stronger people in your circle and you will become stronger yourself. Now, another question that's come up is, when is it the right time to start your overcoming process and how long is going to take? This is impossible to answer. Impossible for anybody to answer. I could tell you how long it took me, but I can't tell you how long it will take you. In my personal journey, I had three weeks where I had zero distractions whatsoever, where I focused only on what I needed to do, what I needed to address. From that point, I stuck even though there were other things that were coming back into my life, responsibilities coming back into my life that I had to be a part of now, I still stuck to that regimen of processing, examining, uh, educating myself, looking for more tools than I knew what to do with at that point. But I knew that the old information would stick unless I was willing and I searched for what was healthy to replace it with. So if you're watching this and you feel discouraged and you're not sure, can I overcome this? Well, get that out of your head because if one person can do it, then multiple people can do it. This is not a situation where only one person in the entire world can accomplish something like this, overcoming PTSD or PNES. Get that out of your head right now. You can overcome it. And that saying that is you have the physical capacity to overcome this. There are two stages that I would say would highlight this period or journey. The first stage is overcoming the seizures themselves. For me, in my situation, it took approximately six months of dedication, having two people that were working with me who were not professional. They had their own stories, their own journeys of overcoming. And so I stuck with them. I took advice from them. I read books and we read them together. I had a group of iron sharpeners. Iron sharpens iron, so get sharp people around you. Now the overall process, that my friends, that's a lifetime. I struggle with something frequently. Sometimes it's a theme that I realize, wow, I'm still struggling with this. There are still things that I have to overcome. Some of us have had lifetimes full of trauma and that will take time. Don't be defeated. This will take time. So be present in the now. So record it, journal it, write down and be present in the now. Allow yourself to be exactly who you are, where you are right now, not rejecting yourself, saying, this is where I'm at and I'm okay. This is not where I have to be forever, but recognize where you're at. Stay in a safe place.
and to the best of your ability, enjoy the journey. God bless you and be well.